get into uh, our short offense, um, I still want to go over, still focus on the leg attack part. These next two are one, I think it takes a, a body type sort of, but we have guys that do it all the time. Uh, either really skilled or a body type. Uh, this next one we're going to do though, um, one of my favorite because when you get it, it's easy. You're like, oh man, that was an easy takedown. All right, because he does some of the work for me and he goes right by. So a lot of times we see a guy get an underhook. Some mistakes. They'll get an underhook. The head position is not there. The guy has head position. Now, this isn't a mistake. All right, this is a position. A mistake would be if I was stupid and I just started jacking him up and started walking into him. A couple things are going to happen. If this guy's got good environments, you're going to get firemen's. If he's got a good headlock, you're going to get headlock. All right? He can even hit an arm spin. So you really need to be careful. When you throw an underhook, I know it's not my hair. So when you throw an underhook, and I'm here and he's got head position, just be mindful of what you're doing, all right? So if he does have head position, I still can score. I still score from here and what we're gonna do, we're gonna give him this head position, all right? I'm going to keep it tight because for him to score on me, he's gotta move his head. He's either gotta dip it underneath or he's gotta pull it back to throw a headlock to this side. He's gotta move this head. So if I can isolate his head, he's not gonna be hitting any of that. So I'm gonna keep his head tucked into my chest. Now, with him in head position, he kind of feels secure, you know, comfortable, because he feels like I can't score, and that's what I want him to do. So with that being said, he's gonna give me a little bit with this underhook. He's not gonna give me this, but instead of fighting it in here, he's gonna let me have it to here. And I'm gonna have that shoulder, so I keep this head into my chest. Now what I'm gonna do, by pulling his head into my chest, it's gonna create his motion to come forward at me. I am going to get out of his way. I'm going to change my level hard and get out of his way and get the takedown. So we're here. I'm going to step outside. Step outside. Think though if you got, this is a building, got four walls, right? So I'm going to step outside facing one wall. I'm going to turn to this wall. See what you just did? Not even pulling his head. He took a step up with his back foot. So when I'm here, I step, I turn, and I'm going to drop down to my knee. That motion that he just gave me is all I need. Okay. So I'm here, I step, drop, down to my knee, hand slides off this head, and he's going to step forward. Here. This hand, this underhook, I'm going to shoot it over my head. This hand, I am not going to him, guys. He is coming to me. This hand drops. This hand shoots over my head. That leg is going to come right to this hand. All right? So one time I'll do it. No. Half speed here, I drop, throw it by, I catch that hand, or I catch that foot. Now, if he comes up to his feet like he just did, it makes it a little bit more difficult. I gotta run and finish my shot. A lot of the time, you hit, your, you hit this, the guy's hands go down to the mat, and he's wor more worried about not falling face flat, and he just kind of stays there, makes it easy on my shot, or makes it easy on my finish. So, you can also do this from your feet, which I will in a second, over here. He's got head position, not terrible, okay, not terrible. Keep his head tight into my chest. Can't really go through too many attacks. Now, I'm stepping outside, turning a quarter turn, dropping out of my knee, hand slides off his head, here. This hand shoots over his head. When you're doing it this slow, when you're teaching your guys, make sure your partner works with you because there's no motion right now. So he, if he was a bad partner, don't move. Coach, it's not gonna work. Well, yeah, it's kind of hard when you're not when, when there's no motion. Your partner's got to work with you. So when I'm here, my hand slides off. As I throw this, I just want him to go forward. That that leg is going to come right to my hand. All right, you catch. I'm going to switch. Let me stay down, double it up, and go. Reason why I like this, it's very low risk. All right, very low risk. If I miss that leg altogether, I come here. <clears throat> No big deal. No harm. All right? I'm not stuck underneath. And what does it look like I'm doing? Creating action. It looks like I'm working. Okay? And that might be the difference maker in a match. You know that some of these tight matches that comes out in a softball. That might do it. 
So I'm here, I put pressure on this guy, pulling him into my chest. I'm gonna step out, drop to my knee, hand slides off, and I throw him by. Catch. Come up, finish this shot, okay? Um, this is a little bit of higher end, higher end technique, but not undoable. Everybody can hit this, okay? Everyone can hit this. This isn't something you need to have some sort of free flexibility or strength. Pulling this into him, step outside. Step, turn, drop to my knee. Here. Now, shooting this hand over my head. This, this hand stays down, catches this foot, throwing it by, catch. Now I can table, finish, drive him through. Okay? Yo, are you trying to back him up first or with that? Back him up with that, right? Not too much. Not too much. Obviously, if he is just backing away from me, it's going to be very difficult to hit. Right, but are you trying to get him to push back in? A little bit, yeah. So I'm going to keep this tight into my chest. Like I said, when you're pushing into a guy and you have an underhook and he has head, head position, be careful. I don't want to be here jacking this guy up and he drops on me. Okay? So, yeah, give him a little bit. Put a little pressure on him. I can be in here. Give him a little bit of pressure. You, you don't need a lot. I mean, he's already committed coming forward at me, so I don't need a lot. Now, when I drop, I'm going to drop down to that knee. Turn. Okay? Catching that heel. Coming up. Finishing that shot. Guys, if you ever watch Danny compete, in college, she killed him. Every time you hit this thing, you're That was my last takedown in the NCAA Finals. Yeah, so. It works, you know. Uh, and the thing here, I'm getting out of his way. Getting out of his way, he's providing me the motion, the momentum, coming forward. I'm just giving him a little nudge. So when I'm here, step, drop, hand drops down. Throwing this over, catch. I might have to catch here. Then I follow through, finish, okay? I actually tried hitting this in my junior year in the in the finals, but I couldn't I couldn't clear that arm. I only hit it three or four times against uh, Trent, and he did a good job keeping this arm in. So every time I did it, we would just come and I throw it right by, and we come back up. But like I said, it's a low risk move. Okay, I'm not getting caught underneath. Now we can do the same thing. Underhook. He's got that head position, but without dropping to the mat. Step outside. Now, here, we gotta keep this tight. We're not getting underneath them, where it makes it easier to throw. Here, we're kinda, he's still low, I step out, I gotta use my, 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 my body, my lat. Not so much of my arm here, I'm using my lat, throwing it through. That's all you're gonna get, probably. I mean, you might get lucky and this hand comes over the top, and I come to my high level attack, he squares back up and now we're back here, but, Nine times out of 10, him going all the way down to the mat is difficult. So when I'm here, tell my underwear, he's got a head position. Not a big deal. Keep this tight. This is key. Keeping this tight to my chest so he cannot drop on me. I'm gonna step, stand on our feet here. Step, this is tight. Here, throwing it by, dropping back down. Now I'm in my high level attack again. Change levels, elbow deep, elbow deep. Get it up high. Pop down to the mat, all right? So, <coughs> here, underhook, he's got head position. One more time, step out, I'm not gonna go to my, I'm not gonna go to my knee. Step, turn. When I step and turn, same footwork, same fundamentals with this arm, shot putting it over my head, but I'm not going down. Here, drop. Now I'm on that high level attack. And remember, backhand, top hand, okay? Here, you're letting him have a chance, okay? He already has a chance, let's not give him too many more. Here, hip position, into the chest, step out, quarter turn, throw, drop. Back in on this leg, I'm gonna change my level, heel, punch, Punch, get high in my armpit. Taking your back foot, stepping in. Pop. 
Now remember, you put pressure with your shoulder on that guy's ankle, on his knee. Okay? Any questions? With those two.